Hey guys, Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Nick's floating around here somewhere, but I want to show you guys the latest purchase and kind of why I made the purchase. So last April, we carted in about 550 yards of dirt, which I had to pay for, to fill in this here ravine. And obviously, it still needs a little work, probably several hundred yards more to go. But in addition to that, we've got a second ravine up this way. We're going to put a drive in to get to the barn. I'll show you this as well. So this ravine right here in front of me is going to get filled in and the pipe dropped in it. And uh, obviously you need dirt for that. You can see the pipe over yonder. However, I'm not about to pay for dirt a second time. We've actually got some dirt out here in the property, so I made a purchase. And if you can read, you already know what the purchase was, slash is, because it's in the title of this video, and I'm keeping you all in suspense. But hey, I'm being stalked. So the previous owner of this property had, when he dug his basement, he piled up all the basement dirt out in the field. Out yonder in the abyss, somewhere out there. It's there, I promise. So I thought to myself, why pay for dirt when you can just haul your own? But how do you haul your own? I don't have a truck. I don't have a way to move it. I don't want to do it bucket by bucket with the backhoe. It's as much fun as that sounds. So I started looking for hydraulic dump trailers that you can tow behind your tractor and run with the tractor hydraulics. Let me tell you, they're expensive. Everything from as low as 5500 bucks without delivery up to I think thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars. Sorry, it's a little windy. So I knew there had to be a better way. So I wanted to go old school. Bought a barge wagon. There she be. Six by ten. I think the sidewalls are two feet tall. It is uh, international running gear rated at I think eight ton. Tailgate flips down, opens like a dump truck, side forwards. Haven't done much with it yet other than hook it up. I, need, I think I might deck the inside here with plywood so that it doesn't dent so much. But uh, this is how I'm going to move dirt. Tires are a little shot. They still hold air for now. So this is the plan. I think I got it for like 3800 bucks delivered. So you compare that to five or fifteen thousand dollars obviously it's a win so we'll show you this thing in action real quick it's a uh, single action cylinder so somebody should cue the jeopardy music but I'm pretty impressed there's no leaks in the cylinder I had to change out the hydraulic fitting to make it work but uh, I think it'll do the job. Nicks and all. I think it has maybe a 50 degree dump. It's got a decent dump. Let's not call it 50 degrees. But you got to probably have to pull forward to dump it out and whatnot. But it should do the trick. You'll be seeing lots of videos of this thing. Hoping to get it to, get it to work here in a couple weeks. This is the last time you'll see it this clean. I'm certain of that. So as I mentioned, this is a single action cylinder in that it doesn't have return flow back to the tractor. It just kind of comes down on its own. So if you have a float function, it's a whole lot better. But the relief valve, when you actuate it the opposite direction, will work. I'll show you that here in a second. All right, so there's up. Now when I put it down, it's going to try to push fluid in the opposite direction, which obviously is a single action cylinder with just one line it can't do that but the relief valve of the tractor will open up and still allow it to come down let me show you how that works so it's not moving fluid but the relief valve is opened up on the tractor allowing it to come down so that's one way you can do it if you don't happen to have float and this tractor does have float though so I'll demonstrate that so if I go beyond put it in float mode now you don't hear that relief valve opening up and it's just coming down on its own as float fluids going back into the tractor. Either way it works. I'm impressed. I'm 
excited. So like I said, I've not used it yet. Um, that's coming, and I'm going to use it a lot. Um, but if you're in the market for a dump trailer, check one of these things out. They're hard to find. I found mine on Tractor House and had to ship it from the middle of Illinois here to Indianapolis. But I think all in all, a decent purchase. Way cheaper. And I looked at all the, all the manufacturers of those uh, dump trailers as much as I could find anyway. The Brooklyn's, man, there was Provenost. I don't know, there was about seven or eight that I looked at. And I don't think any of them had any of the capacity or weight rating of this either. So another thing that's nice about this versus those tandem dump trailers is that you can actually park this thing and load it and not have to have it hooked up or on a jack stand while you load. So if that's something that's you know of benefit to you, if you're going to use the tractor you're actually towing it with to load it, then this is a whole lot better than having to have a second machine if you don't want to, can't afford one or don't have one around. However, it is a little bit more difficult to back up. If you've ever backed up one with the axle up front that actually articulates as opposed to being in the middle of the wagon, it's a little tough, but just don't drink beer while you do it, I guess. So there's the latest addition to the farm. Be putting it to work here in a couple weeks. Nick's in awe, vote of approval. So this is my endorsement of barge wagons. And I have no idea if they even work yet, but tell me it doesn't look cool. Appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the barge wagon. It'll be working here in a few weeks. Come back and see it in action. See you next time.